<laughs> oh, there we go, folks. There we go. There we go. The old, the actual Sony Walkman. Wow. All right, folks, here in Selvany, Arizona, time for another scrapyard run adventure as we sit here at the and look at this empty truck here. Today we're going to be doing uh, steel, possibly some dirty brass, a few other things we're going to be going on. You know, I got to got to got to keep it rolling as you can see don't have much room here so real excited to get gonna go down there today see what we get on that i want to give a special shout out to is uh real quick my daughter got a new job today she's a phlebotomist at a local regional hospital and i'm proud of you good job stuff anyways let's go on and get this thing loaded up and head on down Folks, yikes, this is a lot more than I thought it would be. Got a good amount of steel today, as you can see. We're also bringing in some stainless steel. Found several uh, kitchen sinks. Uh, some more stainless down in there. Doing some HMS. Got some uh, bullet brass there. Let's get those shotgun shells out of there. They don't want those. And other HMS, just heavy stuff like that. So we're going to run this down, and we'll see what we get. Come on down. Well, all right, folks, here's we make the turn onto the street. Let's see where we're at today. No one in line. I like that. Seventy eight forty seventy eight forty. Okay, seven two four zero, seven two four zero. All right, folks here in Selvany, Arizona, here we are to do a wrap up. Got a nice, pretty backdrop behind us here. We're right here in Mesa, Arizona. And today we're going to talk about what we got. Today we got 620 pounds of steel, six cents a pound, 39 bucks, just a little over. And then we had our stainless steel, the kitchen sinks, uh, about seven bucks worth of them. We had the HMS, which was all the heavy steel and the uh, bullet casings, turning Russian steel into American steel. That would be five bucks we got for that. All right. And all that uh, contaminated uh, brass, 14 bucks and for a total of right at six right at 16 bucks not bad thanks for a lot folks one more thing i want to talk about uh shorts uh, you may have noticed i've been doing more shorts i've been doing that as a way to get more eyes on the channel i really want to expose this more um if you want to watch them by all means my my, my regular viewers um but give them a shot and they really have helped uh mr junk and grind told me about those and i've decided to do them so give them a look and uh Tell me what you think about them. If we should keep doing them, I want to know. Thanks again, and let's go scrapping. All right, folks, here in Selvaging, Arizona, as we look at the beauty of Red Mountain right there in Mesa, Arizona, we're heading out for another Saturday scrapping adventure. Now, I had a choice today. I could have either gone to a super far-flung part of the city I normally go to, or go to a new city that opened up it's a little bit closer to Phoenix and try that. Now, I have not done this city before, so you're coming along for the first time with me. I did do a little diligence. I called the sanitation department of the city and they said, yes, they allow scrappers. Yes, people put them out. And one thing though that we'll be experiencing is we'll be doing a little bit of alley driving today. So I get turned around a lot, so we'll see how I get turned around in these alleys. So also the fun part of Arizona alleys is, is they're made of dirt. So I may be a dusty dog today, but as we look out at the beauty of Arizona, that is. Oh, and look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but that is Four Peaks over there, and that is covered in snow. If you've ever heard of Four Peaks Brewery, that's what that name's after, Four Peaks. That is beautiful, and that it has snow on it. Let's head out to that new city, and we'll give it a shot. Okay, folks, here in Southern Arizona, one thing I'm passing through on the way to this other city by the way we have big city over there big city over there and this is the Indian Reservation in between the two but as you can see very very different and it's weird because it's mixed in so close to the city that you have this scenery and in like I, I don't know half
half a mile, I'm gonna be in a major city. The way the way the Indian reservations work in Arizona is interesting. Sometimes they butt up right to the city, and then this is one of those cases. You see, this looks relatively rural. I'm gonna be at my scrapping spot here in about four minutes. So, interesting little thing I thought I'd point out: the uh, Indian reservations that surround the Phoenix Valley area. Our first pile of the new city. Hey. Okay, that's all plastic. Okay, we don't need that. We can take the shelving though. Okay. Well, it's always good to start with something. Cool looking vet. I like that. Okay, let's see down here. A little bit of wire. Oh, this looks like an inflatable. Ah, yeah, Christmas inflatable. Cord on that. What's use? Let's move around. Ah, okay. There's that one. That. There. This one's kind of heavy. Oh yeah. We got here TV rack. I guess folks in this town put it up a little bit. In the other town, they uh, they definitely put it right out of the street. But here, they seem to put it up here. It's nice aluminum there. Will this break down? Go ahead and give it to me. Let's see. No, it won't. We'll deal with that later. Stove top right there. Okay, bad joke. Bad joke time, you ready? We're gonna take the stove top and we're gonna stuff it in here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh boy. Yep. I'm here all week, folks. Try the VL tip your waiter, all that good stuff. Fox that said, help yourself enjoy. Grapefruits. Okay, no, I'm not. I like grapefruit, but not today. Not yes. today. Yeah. Definitely. I'll grab that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 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 gonna go to the scrapyard. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. Just make sure the door stays. Oh yeah, it'll go. It it's probably gonna break before I get there anyway. So. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Oh, what are you curious about? Sticky, sticky. Okay, it is. Yeah. There you go. It's nice when folks bring stuff out to you. That happened last time. That was pretty cool. Looks like here they put it all out here. And this is a good little bottom of metal, isn't it? It is. Ah, uh, oh well. Little fluffy, but we can deal with that. This is super light, but at least it's packed in nice and tight. And well, but here's something you don't see very often: mid cul-de-sac parking. I've never seen that before. I spent 24 years driving around cities and I never did see that before. Oh, I see some ceiling fan parts. Oh, there they are. Oh, nice and broken down. Look at that. Wow. Given the opportunity, we'll always take the glass off. Less for me to deal with. And a ceiling fan broken down. These are all right. I like the city already. Uh, yep, that's what I thought. I said, always get in the, in the fan boxes. Always get the fan boxes. Whilst we're here. James, I need that file on the ceiling fan. I'll get it right, getting it right now, sir. Here you go. Again. I'm here all week, folks. 
We got a couple piles here on this street. Got baby stuff there. Oh, I grabbed one just like this before. Ah, uh, baby stuff, baby stuff. Chairs, sure. Oh, well, I don't need a carpet to go with that, do I? You know what's funny with baby swings? When, when, when you have them, they're the most important thing you'll ever have. And then when you're done, all done. They sure are a lifesaver. You were about to give this a side rail ride now, weren't you? Folks here in Salvador, Arizona, as we listen to Spirit of the Radio, Rush. Oh, yes, yes, we do. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but scrapping is catchy. My son-in-law, he works uh, landscaping and he gets around construction sites a lot, so he's able to get some cool stuff left by the electrician. So we're going to go through this. We're going to separate out the Romex, the Bear Bright, and just the regular good old number two wire, and. We're going to put on high speed and we'll see how it breaks down. We'll see what we get. And we're going to continue to listen to Rush. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, folks, one guy I might recommend to listen to is Mark Broussard and his version of Cry to Me from Solomon Burke. Amazing. Give it a listen. I wish I could play it. Believe me. Anyways, so we are sorting the snippets today. Don't do that normally, but you know what? For my son-in-law, he's a working man. I'm retired. He's got to work, and he picks up some stuff, so I'll grab this for him. Hey, look at that. I forgot a little bit of copper right there. So here is the... Number two wire right there. And here we got all of the nice copper and the Romex. Now, what I've done is basically sort it the way that the uh, the yard, that indoor yard that I go to goes, or that the indoor yard, the way they sorted it. I watched them and they, they did the Romex, the copper, and the number one. So we're gonna turn this in and thanks for watching folks. And thanks for watching me uh, <laughs> slave away and take this down, all right. That was fun. Have a good one. Let's get back. Well, all right, folks. Reminiscing of going back to police work, driving alleys. Here we go. First one of the day. As you can see, they are dirt here, and they are awfully narrow. So if somebody comes down here, <laughs> I remember when I was a officer, if I ever was driving an alley and somebody came along, you had to back up. <laughs> there was nowhere to go. A little bit of something there. What is that? Anybody know what that is? I don't. Okay. Hey folks, how you doing? Folks, we are in a uh, mobile home park here. By all, what the map says is in this city I'm talking about, but what he told me is, is that the Indian Reservation actually extends into this, just this mobile home park. So technically this is on Indian Res Reservation, because he told me that uh, that is not allowed on the reservation. So we'll be making our fast exit. See you on the next pile. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to get out our dumpster dive and stick. Okay. All right, yeah. That'll work. Well, this is one heavy dude. I'll tell you, I will say that. Oh, yeah, steel. So, oh, is that weed whipper wire? What is that? I don't know. What is this? Look at this. Look at this. Little box of nice number two copper. Damn. <laughs> okay. More wire. Oh, yeah. 
That's the good stuff. And the cool about these little tiny alleys, <laughs> just like Paul says, drive through scrapping. <laughs> Looks like we got a little light metal hanging out here in the alley. Oh, that's a little. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. These old alleys are a tight fit, man. This is an old city, and this is actually one of the oldest parts of the city. I, sh I shouldn't say old desk, but it's an old part of the city. So it's got the alleys. Now, when you get into the other parts of, this, of, the, of the city, the northern parts, the, the really nice parts, you ain't gonna see an alley. But here you will, and as you can see, they're old, old and narrow. We got a few things here. Oh yeah, it's more of the really light steel. You're gonna... Oh, nice little wire. That's a good, good wire. One thing that's always worth stopping for is a lone little copper pipe. Just saying, take me. We will grab this thing here. I'm definitely going to get me some desert pinstriping doing this with the alleys today. <laughs> and if y'all aren't sure what that is, that's when you drive through the desert and all the cactuses and the bushes rip up your paint. And in the alleys, you get it too, because as you can see, <laughs> not just that, but a lot of trees overgrown. And so yeah, this thing may have a few new scratches by the end of the day. This little alley pile here, let's see. Got the uh, this thing here. It's all right. You know, normally I don't do the old break down, go ahead and give it to me here in the streets, but if I'm in an alley, <laughs> yeah, I'll break it down. Dang right. Just get the metal and leave all the junk. Okay. Is this all metal? It is metal. A lot of, a little tangly metal today. Sure, a lot of that. We got us a baby gate, which I still have up in my house because now my little man is, my little grandson's almost 14 months old now. He is just a crawling and a crawling and I think it's just a matter of days now until he walks and it's already a pain in the butt trying to, <laughs> trying to wrestle him as it is. Pop the top on one of the things here. Got us some nice heavy steel. All right. All right, folks, we got, as you can see down there, the problem that occurs with alleys here when they're so narrow, is he's backing up for me, which is awfully nice. Normally I'm not a dryer guy, but when I'm in a new city, I'll take whatever I can get, because you never know. I mean, the next few alleys, might have everything, the next few alleys might have nothing. So I'm not gonna pass that up. I don't know this city like I know my other one. I just found me a hose here. All my hoses are messed up. That one's all right. There's some wires in there, okay. Okay. A bit of aluminum there. Is anything worth looking into here? <laughs> oh, there we go, folks. There we go. There we go. The old, the actual wow. Sony Walkman. I, I had one of these. I bought, I remember my, my parents buying me one of these. Let's see what tape is in it. Stop smoking hypnotherapy. <laughs> so the last person who used this was a smoker and was trying to stop. That's funny. I'm, I just may keep that. You don't see these very often. This is what started it all, man. I know most of my viewers are older, but for all you younger folks, this is what started it all. Pretty cool. I like that. Huh. Let's see what we got here. Huh. One good thing about Alley doing is you can be noisy. <laughs> there. 
Did not forget those. All right. All right, folks, we don't have a beautiful spot to stop and do a PD story time, but we have a nice shady spot. So it's PD story time. Yes, PD story time once again. And this one will be quick. Funny one though, pretty funny. And I'm gonna slow things down because I, I know I do talk fast and for that I apologize. But anyways, uh, went on a call one time. One thing you will do a lot of as a cop is search buildings. I've mentioned that before. Uh, when burglary, if, if a burglary alarm goes off at a house and you find an open door, where, you know, even if it's not kicked open, if you find an open door, you have to search the house. You gotta do it. Someone's gotta do it and we're the ones to do it. So searching homes is something you do so many times, it's, it's second hat. So basically you learn little tricks. And one trick is, is that if you can't, you know, you're, you, you, when you leave the house, if, when you found the unlocked door, you have to secure it. And it's a pain in the butt to get the homeowner back because usually they're at work or wear out, wherever. So you learn ways to secure a home without the keys. And one easy way is to leave out the garage, lock, you know, lock, lock, lock the interior garage door, and then hit the button and then jump the beam that little you know photoelectric beam that goes over and then you leave the house and it's a lot easier and so you don't got to wait god knows how long for the homeowner to come home and lock the door so anyways very common thing so i i went on a call with a, a officer and me and her searched the place we there was an unlocked door nothing big very very normal but uh so when we go to leave uh, i said well you know the homeowner's not here so let's uh let's just leave out the garage and we'll jump over the beam she says okay no problem I'm standing out in the front. I, I, I wound up leaving first. So I'm in the driveway and I said, okay, just uh, hit the button and jump over the beam. And so she hits the button. And so let's say the button's over here and here's the, here's the beam and here's the garage door. So she hits the button and she runs right through the beam and the garage door goes right back up. And I said, no, there, there's a little beam there. You gotta, you gotta like, you can't see it, but you gotta jump over it. And so she's like, okay. So she hits the button and she runs right through it again. And I said, no, there's, there's, I, I don't know. I don't know if she hadn't, maybe, maybe she lived in apartments all her life. Maybe she lived in apartments all her life. I don't know. But either way, she was, she wasn't getting it. So I said, no, there's, when you get to the end of the driveway, just jump a little bit and jump over the beam and you'll get it. <sighs> Here, okay. So she hits the button and the garage door is coming down and she runs. And I said, jump a little bit. She took jumping a little, literally and went loop and whacked her head. <laughs> to the top of the or into the bottom of the door as it was coming down and she wasn't injured mainly but it hurt and i started laughing so hard and she got so mad she's like why are you laughing at me i hit my head <laughs> i couldn't stop laughing oh god so funny i went and did it and i, I jumped over the beam and did it and <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. It wasn't until I, re even at, when I retired, she still gave me shit. She's like, you laughed me when I hit my head. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you, you, if, you're, if you're watching, you know who you are. I'm sorry for laughing. That was too funny. <laughs> so folks, that was PD story time today. And uh, let's head down these alleys. All right. One good thing about alleys, like I said before, is if you want to, you can get as destructive as you want to get huh. to the point where you break your old hammer <laughs> that i found scrapping so there's some scrap and there's some dirty brass <laughs> well okay again sorry about that folks forgot to turn the camera on. but we're gonna get this bed frame here well, they done buried this one didn't they High notch, a little ceiling fans on, or not ceiling fans. These aluminum, yep, these are. I'll take that. All right, cool, what's that? Coax, yep, take that steel shred. What is this? All right, it's a coax too. Here we go, this is our alleys, man. This is weird. This is really, giving me off cop vibes because I used to I used, you know obviously as a cop you got to drive through the alleys a lot but man I haven't done this alley driving in a long time <laughs> well my drive-by scrapping here revealed a chair that one's got an aluminum bottom on it so for that why not we'll be a chairman and again like I said when I'm in a new city I'm not a picky dude because you don't know what you're gonna get so, Mr. Scrappity, we'll do bread and butter. 
And folks, watch Mr. Scrappity. You should. Definitely, after this one, go watch Mr. Scrappity. Well, all right, folks. Normally, I'm not a furniture picker, but I'm actually in need of a cabinet. And this one is in pretty good shape. I do need some, I got some storage issues I gotta take care of at home. And this would be good. Some halfway decent shape. And like I said, I'm normally not a furniture grabber. Ain't that what scrapping's all about? You get what you need. That's what you call going vertical. All right. There we go. All right. What do we got here? Oh, it's all steel. Okay. Yeah. Well, forget. That one in there. Cool. And. Canebrook. All right, folks, as we start out here, ending in an alley here in a new city, let's do a wrap up here. Let's see what we got. A lot of steel today. Definitely a lot of steel. Like I said, this is a new city, so when I'm in a new city, I'm not picky. I grab what I can grab. Got a lot of good steel. A uh, couple, a little, little bit of electronics. Also got me, like I said, I know I'm not a furniture guy, but I do have a need for that, so that's coming home with me. Uh, what do I feel about this, this city? Not not too bad, really. I mean, you get a good amount. The only thing is that the, the alley is very technical. As you can see, very narrow. There are times when I was hitting my mirrors, or no, I'm sorry, not, our trees were hitting my mirrors. Trees were hitting the scrap. It, it's really overgrown. But other than that, uh, you, you do get a good amount. So I believe I will be adding this one to my list, and uh, we'll come out here every now and then. But uh, thanks for coming along. Thanks for coming along with this new city. I really appreciate you guys, all the supporters, everyone who's been, we're damn near at 850 for subscribers, and thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks again, folks, and thanks for coming along on this brand new adventure. See you next time.